Now water normally boils at 100 degrees and normally freezes at 0 degrees. But the more solute you put in, the higher the boiling point goes and the lower the freezing point goes. For example, bumping up the boiling point only a little bit would be a non-electrolyte, like C6H12O6. Being made entirely of non-metals and covalently bonded, the water can't tear them apart any further. One mole of sugar will yield one mole of sugar when dissolved. It'll have the least impact on the boiling and freezing point. Sodium chloride ionizes to form two ions, sodium and chloride. Calcium chloride ionizes to form three ions, one calcium and two chloride. Aluminum fluoride ionizes to form four ions. One aluminum, three fluorides. So the more ions that there are in the compound, the greater impact it's going to have on the boiling point and the freezing point. Solution will boil at the highest temperature if it has the highest concentration. It will boil at the lowest temperature if it has the lowest concentration. How do we know what the concentration is? Well, they're all exactly the same substance, so we can eliminate that. Concentration is the amount of salt you have in how much water you're dissolving it in. 100 divided by 1,000, 100 divided by 500, 100 divided by 250, 100 divided by 125. That's going to be your most concentrated solution. This is going to be your lowest concentration solution. Remember, Extreme questions have extreme answers. It's either going to be the highest or the lowest. Whichever one, you can eliminate the ones in the middle. Extreme questions have extreme answers. Extreme! Freezing point at the lowest temperature, that would be the highest concentration. Freezing at the highest temperature, that would be the lowest concentration. Highest concentration? lowest concentration. Here we got the same number of grams of substance and the same number of grams of water, but the formulas are different. C6H12O6 doesn't break up at all when you put it in water. KBr breaks up into K plus Br. MgF2 breaks up into Mg plus 2 fluorides. Aluminum chloride breaks up into Al and 3 chlorides. Highest boiling point most particles. Lowest boiling point, fewest particles. Lowest freezing point, most particles. Highest freezing point, fewest particles. And that's colligative properties. Later on in the year, I'm going to show you how to do calculations with this. So if I give you the molality of the solution, you can calculate what the new boiling and freezing points are going to be. But that calculation is beyond the scope of a Regents level course.